Hi guys, this is Ghost from Pixel Cover and welcome to another video. I'm gonna talk about like the new Discord channel that we're about to create and release for you guys. It's still private, but a lot of people requested it. So uh, we've actually created a Discord for you guys so you can all join, get some news about the mod because it's easier to talk, troubleshoot things about the mod. So this video will be talking about more specifically on how to install yuzu and ryujinx and set up all the multiplayer thing then you can join the discord and we can all play together and stuff and it will be amazing also thanks for the support in the comments it's been really helpful it's been really hard to implement more mods and we're listening to some of the comments asking for certain features but sometimes it's very hard to implement those changes so it is best for you guys to join discord and then ask or we develop together and what's the features that you like the most and then we can implement it basically and it's going to be easier that way so that's about it we will also bring some news about the small updates that we also developed especially it's about the fov camera and about the monster log or compendium which is what we named it but it's going to be like a field guide for monster hunter generations ultimate similarly like world and rise those two updates will be coming to version 4 I hope you guys joined Discord and I hope you liked the video. On to the new update 4.0, we are working on including a sort of field guide similar to World and Rise, since Monster Hunter GU only has this sort of text talking about the monster, but it doesn't talk much or show us stats about weakness and etc. So we will be implementing this sort of visual book that details some of the monster stats without spoiling too much of course. Keep in mind that this is still a work in progress and the visuals might be changed. But we are still experimenting on how to make this looks good. For now, we will be sticking to large monsters only and probably maybe add the locations gathering spots, drops and even the key quests guide for new players. This will be useful for people who don't use databases or like to know a bit more about monster stats without spoiling much or go too much into details. The other feature we are going to talk about is the FOV camera. The default camera is 490 units and we picked a couple of presets that cover a bit more distance. Since this was a problem most people had because of the larger monsters are really big in this game, sometimes you are unable to check your surroundings with the default camera so this should fix that issue. This mod was actually created by the same person behind the rebalance mod I think, so I just tweak it some values and make it compatible with all the other mods and it will be included in the next 4.0 update. In terms of features, this is what we are working for now. As I said before, we have created a Discord for you guys, so feel free to join. Inside you'll have access to all the mods and the files you need to make this all work. So bring your friends and let's have fun hunting together. Now this next part, I will be clarifying the fresh install of either Yuzu or Ryojinx, because there are still people who have trouble making this work, especially the multiplayer, so let's get the clean install. Since the recent takedowns of DMCA of the Switch emulators. Some servers were shut down and don't even work properly. But today in this video I will show you a way of making everything working again. This will work for Yuzu or Yujinx, but in order to understand this, I will demonstrate how you guys can install everything correctly and make it work flawlessly so you can play again with your friends or play with people all around the world. For Yuzu, I recommend using either the mainline version 1734 or the EA Early Access build version 4176. The firmware could be 19.0.0 or 19.0.1 and the corresponding prod keys. Now for Ryujinx, I recommend using only the green dev build because of the new built-in servers. The version is 1.2.82 or above and the firmware can be as well 19.0.0 or 19.0.1 and the corresponding prod keys as well. If you have trouble playing online or connecting, this video will make sure you get everything correctly. Show it to your friends if they have any trouble installing. This is especially for people that don't know modding in general and we are trying to reach out as much of you as possible so we can form a good community and hunt all together while Monster Hunter Wilds is still fixing most of the problems it has. 
So as you can see here, I got the three files that we need. It's the Yuzu Early Access build in this case, but it works on the mainline build as well. And then we have the prod keys and the firmware as well. So what we will be doing is extracting Yuzu to a desired folder of our choice. And then we will go inside a folder and start the EXE to see if the emulator is working properly. If you get this warning message, don't worry, it's normal. It's telling you that the encryption keys are missing and that is what we will be installing right now. We need to extract the prod keys to the desktop just to be easier. And then we will go to the top tab, says tools, install the encryption keys. And then we will select the folder of the prod keys. After selecting the prod keys file, the prod keys will be installed and updated. And now we will move on to update the firmware. We will be essentially doing the same thing. Just extract all the files from the zip file to a folder in the desktop. And then we will go back to Yuzu, go to tools and install the firmware update, just like the prod keys, but this time it's the firmware. As you can see, it's now installing the firmware and after this is done, everything is updated and then we just need to go to, to the settings, put our configuration, set up our controller and find our game and then start playing. It should be ready to go. Now we just double click on the main screen and then find the folder where our ROM is located. Now that we've added our game, we just right click the game, go to properties and check if the game is in version 1.4.0. I cannot stress this enough, the mods won't work if it's not on that version. Now to fix the multiplayer lobby is not showing, which is a thing that is happening right now because of the DMCA, uh, you can close Yuzu and go to this website. You will basically write your username and press on the generate config button. It will generate some settings that you'll need to copy and then paste onto another file. So we will just copy this section under Yuzu configuration, just copy this. And then we will have to find this Yuzu folder located on the app data. So inside the config folder, we'll find this file named qtconfig.ini. And then we will have to edit that, search for this web service part, and then just paste what we've copy from the website. You will replace, just go to file, save, and then you're good to go. Now, if we go back to Yuzu, go into the multiplayer tab, browse public game lobbies, and then we can see the servers are now working again, and you can see all the servers. You can use these servers, you can join them and play with your friends. You can also create your own room so your friends can join and it works like a private lobby but uh, you'll probably need to port forward this in order for this to work or you can use a VPN service like Hamashi or a program like that. So if you did all of this and your friends follow this video as well they can just join your server and remember if you're all using a VPN service it should work you don't need to port forward. After they join the, the room you can all start the game and then you can go to the multiplayer menu, hit connect and create a hub in the local play. Remember, you will always have to use local play because this thinks you're in a local network. So after you create the hub, your friends should search for local play hubs and they will find your hub there and just connect. Now that everything is working properly and we've installed pretty much everything related to the game, we will now install our own version 3.0 mod, which was the mod that we released. Uh, it's all in the previous video, but you know, just open mod data location, just to make sure you get the pathing right. And then you will just have to copy the address and paste on the installer. After pasting here on the installer, you just click next, press yes. And now we can choose the, the language. If you want to change language of the game, you can change it here. Uh, in this case, we'll be using English. And then you can choose the VPS mode. We're going to use 120. And then we just leave everything default. Just click next. Here you can choose the layout. You can use the original switch, Xbox or PlayStation. And then we just click install. It will install everything correctly. So after this is done, we got the mod installed, we got the multiplayer working and everything working. We're just gonna make sure hit properties here in the game. And we're gonna check for these thick boxes. If these uh, thick boxes are ticked, 
it means uh, everything is installed and the mods are enabled. Now you can get inside the game. If you see this screen, it means the, the mod has been installed successfully and you're pretty much good to go. Enjoy. So if you are using Rio Jinx, we're going to repeat this process and it's basically all the same. We're just going to extract the Rio Jinx folder here and then we're going to run the exe. We get inside the emulator and we will need to install the prod keys and then update the firmware. Ignore all these warning messages in the beginning. Just go to actions and install keys. Install keys from zip file. And then we will be selecting the zip file containing the prod keys that we've used before on Yuzu can be also used here on Ryu Jinx. We just press yes and it will install the keys. Now that the keys are successfully installed, we're going to have to update the firmware. We're going to do the same thing and now select the firmware. After the firmware is updated, we got everything we need. We just go to options and then set up our controller and settings. This is very important. We will have to go to network here and then in the mode, we select the Ryu LDN. This this is to enable us to connect to their servers and actually see how many people are playing in the lobbies online. After this, we just add our games folder where our ROM is located. After we see the game popping out here, we need to make sure it's on the version 1.4.0 or the mods won't work, same as Yuzu. After this is done, we will just restart Ryujinx. After restarting Ryujinx, we can now see the online players here that are playing this game and how many hosted lobbies there are. And now we can just get in the game and play multiplayer. I'm just going to show you right now. So after getting inside the game, you'll have to turn on Hunter Search. And after you turn on Hunter Search, you'll probably get a firewall um, warning. You'll have to allow access. Um, if you still can't see the multiplayer lobbies, you'll just have to restart Rio Jinx just to make sure. But if everything's working correctly, it will transmit the data. And then you will search for local play hubs. You press connect, search hubs. And then a lot of lobbies will appear with everyone playing. You can just uh, get inside any lobby or create create your own lobby and have your buddies join. This is just for demonstration purposes. I just joined a random lobby and this guy just came to me and I was just, I was telling him I was making this video. So yeah, just to show you guys that it, it's fully working. Um, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on what to do next or if you want to see something uh, different or different content just leave a comment in the comment section and don't forget join discord once again because we will be playing and live streaming and if you want to join just go ahead and let's all hunt together see you next time